Well, namaste. Uh, I am exhausted. It's been a really, really long, long day. And so it was getting up early and Kathy driving us to uh, Waterloo and then taking the train that was late, 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 uh, getting to the city, having lunch at Union Station, taking the uh, CTA Subway L Subway to uh, O'Hare, and then uh, a long, boring flight to Salt Lake City, except for when you start getting into to Utah, then uh, the scenery is pretty spectacular. Um, and uh, the, the, you know, the city is just surrounded by mountains. I mean, just these are not like hills. These are, <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, and I'm surprised at how extensive the city is. It looks like Los Angeles dropped in the middle of the desert, which might be a little redundant. Anyway, so um, I get to the city. And uh, before I even get on the plane at O'Hare, I meet a woman who I said, uh, you're going to Salt Lake City because, because she looked like a member of the parliament to me, and, and she was. She, uh, her name is Judy. I don't know her last name yet. I'll meet her tomorrow again. But she's uh, from Milwaukee, and she is the person in charge, uh, who works for the diocese in terms of ecumenical and interreligious projects. And so uh, she's uh, very involved in all of this, very well connected, um, well read, uh, f just a neat lady uh, who sees interreligious as we all need to work together because there are just so many needs. Anyway, so um, met her, and then while I was getting the luggage, I met uh, her friend uh, Katiana McKay, the Reverend Katiana who is a minister, a Methodist minister in um, a United Methodist Church in Rogers Park. And, uh, and we took the uh, light rail, because uh, we stayed at the same place uh, together, and just talked and talked and talked. Uh, her church was one of the first reconciliation churches uh, in uh, the Methodist uh, denomination. So she's been involved in working with uh, LGBTQ uh, folks, uh, but also she's very involved working with gangs and uh, violence and uh, extensive multi-generational poverty. And uh, so she's really a, a neat lady. Then got to the uh, Little America Hotel. Oh my goodness, this was this is the most elegant hotel I've ever been at, and I've been at a number of elegant hotels, but this is incredible. But the city is incredible. The city is super, super clean um, and um, really kind of hipster, modern. Uh, you know, there's uh, you know, a Scottish place here, an American Indian place there, and a place to get dashikis here, and all these outdoor beer gardens and cafes, and um, people either look like uh, they're all the fake same faith, you know, kind of uh, this this kind of uh, choir boy look that sounds judgmental. I don't mean it that way. I just mean clean cut look. Um, or they are, you know, inked and you know man buns or shaved head and uh, um, you know earplugs and uh, just styling and and being outlandish all over the place. It's I love it. It's just a great city. Uh, so, um, after I, uh, uh, got into my hotel and said hi to Kathy, I then, uh, walked to the, uh, Salt Palace and got there probably two minutes after they stopped registration for the day. And so that was a little bit frustrating, uh, but, um, I got to see the place. And, uh, I mean, there's just halls and halls, uh, cultural halls, exhibits, Temples being built all over the place, Hindu temples, Buddhist temples, it's, and, the, and the people walking around are from all over the world, so you've got uh, Muslims and Hindus and Sikhs and, and all different types of Buddhists. they got these really cool-looking Buddhists with these uh, brown and beige robes that just looks very cool. Um, and so that's my superficial part. I like the way it looks, okay? Um, but I'm excited about, um, about the Salt Palace. I'm excited about exploring the city. Um, but I had been traveling for over 12 hours, um, and I wasn't feeling particularly good, and I was very tired. 
and I needed to eat. And so I went to this nice restaurant, and I'm having this Italian meal. And all of a sudden, these three ladies sit down at the table next to me, and I could tell they they got to register. They had Parliament toys. I didn't. Um, and so we started talking, and they said, you know, uh, you got to come and see us uh, Friday because uh, we're going to dance. And I said, who's we? And they said, 250, I think it was 250 dancers, maybe it was 150 dancers, uh, but a big number. And I said, well, what kind of dance are you doing? Because I like dance. And they said, well, you probably haven't heard of it. It's it's called uh, One Billion Rising. <laughs> and I said, you mean, so you're going to uh, break the chain? And so then I talked to them about Fort Wayne One Billion Rising and, and what we do and talked to them about Lori Rose and our group. And um, anyway, so I'm going to be dancing with them Friday. Uh, so uh, Lori and, and, and the gang from Fort Wayne, I'll be representing this old man uh, if I feel up to it. Uh, but anyway, so i um, real excited. The place is beautiful. The hotel is beautiful. The people, um, a number of them have been to multiple parliaments and talk about how it totally changed their lives. And now they are... Um, coming home. And, uh, and so I'm excited about that possibility for myself, wondering what the transformation will be. Um, I'm excited because uh, when I get the far, uh, to uh, Chicago next week, I will uh, visit uh, uh, the Reverend at uh, the Methodist Church in Rogers Park and see the uh, peace and justice work that she does there. Um, I got an uh, email or a Facebook uh, message from Nick Burkhart. Uh, so we have an art showing next Friday, so uh, I have to figure out if I'm going to be able to go to that or go to Josh's uh, uh, opening. But either way, I, I'll be able to see one of the uh, Kayo uh, art folks, hopefully. And um, so that's it. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm in a beautiful place with beautiful people. And now I'm going to go to sleep, and tomorrow it all really starts. So talk to you later. Take care. Namaste.